Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video. And seeing that E3 has come and left, a lot of people have been asking me my opinion on the new Legend of Zelda game coming out for the Wii, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Mostly because everyone knows how obsessed I am with the Legend of Zelda. So you guys really want to know my opinion, whether it's story or gameplay or graphics or anything else for that matter. My opinion is this. I really don't have an opinion right now. I can't really have an opinion. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited for a new Zelda game to come out, especially on the Wii. But really, from what I saw in the trailer, there's nothing I can really be excited about. What has the trailer really showed me that could get me excited? Now, let's uh, just hit a few angles. One is, really, I haven't seen any new items. Bow, arrows, bomb, sword. We say that little bug thing that flies out, which looks pretty cool, might I add you, but besides that, we haven't seen any new uh, items. It's the same bow, same slingshot, same bomb. So, I really can't comment on any items. The gameplay looks better, at least with the re Motion Plus, but without me actually physically doing the motions with the Wii remote, I can't really comment on that gameplay either. Very little of the story has ever been shown, if any. So I can't really comment on the story. The only thing I can really comment on is the graphics, which is a love child of the Wind Waker, Cell Shading, and the Twilight Princess art style. A lot of people have been kind of pissed about this, saying that, oh, it's not realistic enough, but when has Zelda really been overly realistic with its art style? I mean, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and you can even uh, argue a Link to the Past have been realistic looking like Link. But look at all the games that have been cartoony. Wind Waker, Four Swords, the original Legend of Zelda, uh, Minish Cap, uh, Phantom Hourglass, uh, the Oracle games. I mean, they've all kind of had a cartoony feel to them. So, the graphics, I'm not bothered by. I actually think the graphics look good, although Link kind of looks a little off. I don't like his trousers that he wears, but the graphics look okay, so I have no complaints about that. What's really bothering me in the Zelda community is the Zelda theorists. Yeah, those people out there that theorize timelines, which I'm one of. See, a lot of people are jumping to conclusions. Let me say that again. Jumping to conclusions about what the story is of this game. A lot of people saying that it's the origin of the Master Sword, and that because of it, it has to predate Orphan in Time. Now, I'm not saying that they're wrong, but I think a lot of people are jumping to conclusions. The evidence that was given about this being the origin of the Master Sword for the game is during a roundtable session they said that the Skyward Sword transforms into the Master Sword. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the origin. I mean, if you listen or if you read, they say it turns into the Master Sword. So, I think a lot of people are jumping to conclusions thinking that means that it's the origin of the Master Sword. If you think about it, the Master Sword has changed so many times and so many swords have changed into the Master Sword. I mean, the Master Sword changed into the Golden Sword and the Tempest Sword during the length of the past. The Master Sword was depowered and then repowered during Wind Waker, so the Skyward Sword could just be a depowered Master Sword being repowered back up. I mean, you can't necessarily jump to conclusions about it being its origin. Uh, I'm not saying that that's not the case. It could very well be the origins of the Master Sword, but I think a lot of people are jumping to conclusions about it. So, that's kind of ticking me off. Not ticking me off, it's just kind of annoying me. But... On a whole, there's really not much I can say about the new Zelda game because we really haven't seen too much. I want to hold my opinions and my expectations and my hopes for when we get new trailers and when we can actually play the game. And then I can tell you what I feel about the graphics, the gameplay, and the story. But until then, there has been very little that has been shown that has really kind of got me thinking. You get what I'm saying? I mean, there's nothing really new that's been shown. I can't play the game. I can't feel how well the Wii Motion Plus works with it. And we know nothing about the story, really, to be honest. Um, I think this game, story-wise, is going to be very ambiguous about where it's going to belong. It's going to be like a Four Swords game, uh, where it's going to be able to take place in multiple different parts of Zelda timeline. So, who knows where it's going to take place. What I'm really excited for is actually the 3DS. Ocarina of Time that's coming out. That looks awesome from the few pictures that we get. But whatever. But that's it. That's my thoughts. I mean, nothing negative, but nothing positive. I have no opinions right now. 
Um, am I excited for a new Zelda game? Yes. Am I excited for this Zelda game? Not yet, but hopefully I will be. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more on this game. So with that said, I'm going to end this review here. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.